Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the uh, mid-afternoon uh, session, 18th of May 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, let's see exactly where these markets are positioned and where they're actually headed. In terms of market stats, Asian markets overnight certainly for, uh, following through on the weaker uh, U.S. market close. Uh, U.S. market so far at the moment certainly uh, recovering, especially the Nasdaq, certainly pushing higher again. European market stats as they stand, the FTSE down are, are whopping uh, a one percentage point on the back of uh, a stronger sterling post retail sales. German DAX certainly weaker, the French CAC certainly weaker, FTSE MIB, IBEX all certainly under pressure by more than a percentage point. Okay, now in terms of the uh, European markets at the moment, certainly remain vulnerable. We have uh, number one, uh, further details with regards to Flynn, Comey, Trump, certainly exacerbating risk aversion. Also with regards to uh, the uh, euro remaining above 1.1, certainly some hawkish comments from one of the ECB members. Uh, but I think the main, uh, one of the main uh, risk off uh, factors or triggers today has been Brazil. Uh, the Br Brazilian um, uh, currency certainly under pressure, circuit breakers triggering. If I could go back here, Brazil market sinks, circuit breakers on fresh crisis. If I just uh, bring this across, certainly did trigger off a risk aversion. Brazilian markets plunges fresh political crisis instead. President Michael Temer, futures of benchmark I bought gauge plunge 10%. So that certainly isn't good news, okay, at all. So again, uh, certainly a lot of factors there are triggering risk aversion and causing the market certainly to go into a swoon. Uh, you have the USD JPY just about obviously mustering some support post US jobs data. US jobs data certainly came in stronger. Uh, initial jobless claims, continued jobless claims, both coming in on the weaker side and thereby supporting the uh, job market. In terms of the UK, again, and stronger retail sales should technically have helped the FTSE. They've certainly uh, triggered a bout of risk aversion. Also, with regards to Theresa May releasing her manifesto, certainly on the weaker side, especially given the fact that she's going after retirees, and that certainly won't bolster her. Uh, support either okay so again u.s markets uh, certainly under pressure your european markets under even, even more is uh, severe pressure let's see exactly how the markets close in terms of the uh, the actual picture here german dax certainly has closed its hns formation so the hns formation certainly has triggered and uh, the target certainly has been hit it actually exceeded the target the target was 12560 we actually uh, exceeded that by down to 12460 uh, before, should I say, 12,500 before we actually reverse. So, HS target certainly met on the German DAX daily chart at the moment. We've closed the gap on the German DAX and now looking to potentially bounce at this juncture. Okay, 10 minute chart at the moment on the German DAX. From my perspective, we've broken out this downward sloping expanding wedge pattern. Certainly looking for a potential inverted head and shoulders pattern now. From my perspective, you're looking at the left shoulder here, head. And looking for the right shoulder certainly to play out and certainly looking to potentially break higher. So that's my understanding at present. US market certainly pushing higher at the open as well. French CAC, let's look at the French CAC here, folks. French CAC on the daily chart, certainly bouncing off support on the on the daily chart, 60 minute chart at the moment, bouncing off horizontal support. Uh, 10 minute chart at the moment, bounces, bounces as high as 5283, looking for a continuation of that potential rally as well. The Brazilian market certainly spooked me, otherwise I would have kept my long positions. FTSE under pressure as well. FTSE at present, certainly under pressure. Uh, FTSE certainly seems to be under pressure now again. Uh, sterling certainly hurting the FTSE. And also, obviously, retail sales coming in stronger, certainly triggering the hawkish stance from the BOE. We certainly seem to have made a base at 7294. Let's see if we can hold that base for now, okay? So let's look for potential support on the FTSE, especially on the daily chart. It corroborates with previous resistance equals support. So certainly looking for a pop here as well. 60 minute chart inside bar bullish engulfing. Let's see if we can maintain that, okay, in terms of going forward. Okay, so in terms of Euro stocks, let's look at the Euro stocks as well. Uh, Euro stocks certainly bouncing. This is an index that I'm actually long on, on. Uh, looking for a bounce of 50% on the daily chart. Certainly looking to hold. 60 minute chart, certainly looking to bounce here as well take out this bearish engulfing candle potentially thrust higher looking to thrust higher up to uh, 3610 looking for draghi to sound uh, looking for draghi to sound dovish although the euro has plunged from 1.1 1160 down to 1.11 and we'll see if we, if we can continue that if draghi maintain it maintains his dovish stance okay 
Right, uh, I think that's a good summation. US markets, again, you are looking to potentially hold gap fill. Gap fills at 3348, so 2348, looking to hold that, looking to bounce on the S&P 500. 60 minute chart at the moment, the doji candle certainly holding that support level. Also looking to buy the Nasdaq as well later on, looking for a potential dip by there. Okay, I think that's a good summation then. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.